By far, one of the most popular finishes over the last couple of years has been this. This is Rubio Monocoat, and not only does it give you a beautiful, durable finish, but one of its biggest selling points is its repairability. But one of the biggest downsides of this product for a lot of woodworkers is the price. Unfortunately, a lot of woodworkers can't justify spending so much on such a little can for every project. What if I told you that there is a new finish on the market that not only claims to give you the same beauty, durability, and repairability as Rubio Monocoat, but at a much lower cost? That is what I'm going to be testing out today. This is the General Finishes Hard Wax Oil in Clear, and this is what's going to be going up against the Rubio Monocoat Hard Wax Oil. It's important to know that with both these products, you don't actually have to splurge and get the hardener. You can use the product right out of the can and it will dry that way. It'll just take a lot longer. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use both of these products with their respective hardeners. Both of these finishes are fairly straightforward to mix together. With the Rubio Monocoat, we need to mix together three parts hard wax oil to one part hardener. It's a good idea to use your wife's good mixing spoons for this since they're generally cleaner than the ones that you probably already have in your shop. I found it's also really helpful to get somebody else to mix these for you, that way your big dumb hands don't get in the way of the camera. The General Finishes Hard Wax Oil gets mixed together pretty much the same way as the Rubio Monocoat, except for it's a 10 to 1 ratio rather than a 3 to 1, meaning you won't have to purchase quite as much hardener. I will say that one of the things I noticed using both products is that the hardener for the General Finishes was way easier to use than that dumb can that Rubio Monocoat gives you. Getting that last little bit of hardener out of the bottom of the can is even worse than trying to get the last chip out of a Pringles can. Even if you turn the thing upside down and shake it, you still can't get all of the hardener out without completely removing the top, and so that alone might be worth the new purchase. At this point, the finishes look very similar, except for the Rubio Monocoat is a bit more translucent, so I'm interested to see what effect that has on the wood. We decided to test the finishes out on a few different pieces of wood in the shop, and the first one up is this walnut slab. Both of the finishes get applied basically the same way. You just pour the finish onto the wood, and then you can scrub it into the wood using something like a white non-woven cloth. At this point, I couldn't tell any difference in how the finishes were applied. They seem to apply exactly the same way. I'm doing it! You're doing a good job! The general finishes hard wax oil needs to rest for about 5 to 10 minutes, and then you can wipe off the excess with a terry cloth until the surface is dry to the touch. The Rubio Monocoat needs a minimum of 5 minutes, but no more than 15 minutes before it needs to be wiped off as well. At this point, General Finishes recommends that you wait 24 hours before giving a final buff to their hard wax oil. And Rubio Monocoat doesn't mention buffing theirs off at all, but generally I do that the same day I apply the finish. In this case, I buffed off both on day two. Of course, you can do this step by hand, but I really enjoy using this when waxer polisher. You can also get by just using a non-woven pad on a sander and you will get the same result, but personally, I really like using this waxer polisher and keeping that separate from all of my other woodworking tools. That way, I can have a dedicated tool that won't be covered in sawdust, making a mess all over my brand new pristine surface. Lastly, I wanted to see how durable the finish was, and it was really easy to dig in and scratch both of these surfaces, but that was to be expected. And this here is the real beauty of both of these products. All you have to do is sand down the surface, clean off all of the sawdust, and then reapply your finish. And if you do all of this properly, the flaw should completely disappear. And you don't even have to sand down your entire surface like you would with something like a film finish. You can see here that I actually forgot to get all of the sawdust off of the surface before I went ahead and reapplied the finish, but it really wasn't that noticeable. But that really only seemed to affect the Rubio Monocoat side. The general finishes side was completely invisible. Personally, I love the look of both of these finishes, but I did note that the Rubio Monocoat side had a slightly higher sheen to it after the polishing step. At least in my test, the general finishes side ended up a bit more matte. So you'll definitely want to keep that in mind when selecting your finish. And that's really all there is to it. Rubio Monocoat says that their hard wax oil will be fully cured within five days, but you can use the product immediately as long as you're gentle with the surface for the first few days. General Finishes, however, doesn't say how long it takes theirs to cure, and so that one's ready to go right away. Personally, I find it a little bit hard to believe that it's cured instantaneously, so I would still be gentle with this surface for at least the first few days. I'm going to be leaving a link down in the description to both of these finishes and where you can buy them. And I've mentioned this in a previous video, but when it comes to Rubio Monocoat, I don't like to add the Amazon link because they never seem to send the right product. But you can buy this directly from the Rubio Monocoat website, and it's basically the same price anyway, so that's the link I'm going to be giving you down in the description. And since General Finishes Hard Wax Oil is a very new product, you won't be able to find that in most stores, and it's definitely not on Amazon, at least at the recording of this video. So the link I'm going to be giving you to that one is also directly to their website. If you have any questions about these products, feel free to ask them down in the comments, and if you know any other comparable products that you think I should try, feel free to let me know about those as well. Thanks for watching!